black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Believe it or not, happens a lot, but it's been a month since we had Whoppers and it entered the mind. I don't have time to cook shit today. Things are happening. We're on the go, birthday parties and such. So two Whoppers, heavy all, this one looking extra hefty. Heavy all, no onions, I should say, but of course, if this, somebody's maybe dying, so it's fine. We deal with sirens, but no raw onions add fried onion rings which probably leaves the worker perplexed when i go can i get two whoppers heavy all no onion with a side of onion rings they're probably like is this guy smoking methamphetamines it means is it plural i don't know methamphetamine anyways we're gonna dress these up with those let's bring it down for the real thing see how they were constructed add them and then start eating these and then just talk about life random shit okay gotcha great good we're going okay we're gonna inspect the hefty inspected deck all right lift the lid true reveal true reveal shows good amount of lettuce we like that let's make sure we stack it all back where it belongs sometimes things come out and that's fine tomatoes a little bunchy but we'll fix that the pickles also a little bunchy definitely heavy though which is good we'll just spread them around a little bit here no big deal lots <laughs> lots of pickle holy but we like it pickly okay boom boom then we gotta ring this thing you know what i mean ringing in the new year Oh my god, it sounds like there's children dying. What happened? Uh-oh, somebody's snack got took it away or some shit. All right, y'all, a couple of the most perfect burgers ever right here. Look at that bite. You know it's looking amazing. We got the baby bonnet diaper on it. Baby bonnet diaper on it. And we're slurping lettuce already as it is. This bite looks incredible, but... I don't know if you just witnessed that with me or heard that with me, but I think I heard a child either just getting slaughtered or um, brought in to get spanked. That's a very classic move. That's a 90s, 80s move. Not sure if you're allowed to do that anymore, but uh, I heard a child losing their shit. Anyways, best bite ever right here. Okay. When they're built perfect and they bite perfect on a crave, there's absolutely nothing like it. Nothing like it. Is it weird that I feel like I could eat Whoppers two times a week every week for eternity i could not every day but twice a week for sure absolutely now one thing to talk about pat myself on the back i'm officially a certified g those bites are going to be great. Saucy mayo, amaze, crunchy lettuce. I got my full G license yesterday. Meaning, in Canada, we go G1, G2, G. G1 written, G2 driven. G, G driven, but it's highway. That's the last step. It is highway driving. I had my full license back in the day. Y'all know what happened if you've been here long enough. But then I moved away. Never re-upped my license. 
And since I've been back, I've had to go through the motions of getting my license back to the top rung on the ladder, which is G. So I'm a certified G now. But with COVID and everything, it's been a whole mess trying to get to this status. So I'm very, very stoked. Real happy about it. it means I'm a full driver with all the privileges and all that shit now. different level of delicious today these are perfectly made also i told y'all the exhibition the fair was coming to town he went last, he went last night It was equal parts depressing, hilarious, and delicious. We don't have to get into all the details of why that is, but I will tell you about the delicious part. And I did something abnormal. I went too savory, too sweet. And y'all know, I rarely go sweet. But I went too sweet. My too sweet were elephant ear. Let me break it down in order for you actually how I really did it. First up, straight beeline for the corn dog stand. Who's not trying to get a foot long, home battered, dipped, fresh out the oven, out the oil, corn dog at the fair? Like, who's not trying to get it? I'm trying to get it, right? Secondary diaper whopper, ready to roll. And we need to continue to talk about corn dogs. So, boom. Beeline for the corn dog. Grab myself a foot long. Dip in the batter. Nice and hot and fresh. Five bucks. Not a bad deal. Thought it was going to be more expensive. Here's a fatal flaw. On the side where the condiment shack is. They only got mustard and ketchup pump ketchup hits it with the pump ketchup during the pumping of the ketchup a squirt of the pump ketchup gets too aggressive misses the corn dog lands on my fresh washed shoe so now i have ketchup soles right i got ketchup put it's not great he goes to retrieve a napkin of course because it's the fair and there's a bazillion people there. They're out in napkins. So how is he going to wash the ketchup off his shoe? He doesn't. It stains. So we got hit with the ketchup shoe. Now. We let the dog digest. Have a little cruise. We go to the food court area. Now, the, these treats were located centrally near the rides. Ride lines were crazy. Fuck all that. I didn't go on anything because literally hour line, hour long lines 
for rides that, in my opinion, are child's play. I've just been on such better rides in my life. Can't do it. Go to the food court zone. Bunch of different places. Lines are pretty crazy. Nothing too intriguing. They have a pizza hut stand. And they're selling individual pizza pies like the, the pan pizza. I'm a sucker for pizza. What can I say? You go to the fair, still eat Pizza Hut. I got a personal six inch pepperoni and cheese with a ranch dip. Also, go to sit down in a chair to eat my pie. Open the ranch. Fumble my ranch. Ranch cup dip falls onto ground doesn't flip over thought it was going to flip over could have been a travesty lands on bottom lid open splurts half ranch cup splurts almost hits my other shoe so almost had a ranch foot didn't have a ranch foot still has a ketchup foot though so retrieve ranch from ground it makes the distance on personal pie because personal pie, not that big. Half a ranch cup suffices for dipping. Then I let that digest. I watch this bullshit hypnotist for a while. I don't believe it seems all very <laughs> stage contrived ponzi scheme type shit and at the end he tries to sell everybody a thumb drive for forty dollars with all his hypnotism lessons basically so you just plug in the drive and then you get all this self-help hypnotist shit that he promotes at the end for 40 bucks so good job Snake oil hypnotist salesman does a bullshit performance, tries to sell you some bullshit so that you think you're changing your life through hypnotism when really you could just search the same thing on YouTube for free. Hypnotist guy's done waiting for the band to come on. Honeymoon suite rock band. I spent scope out the twisted cones i say to myself how often do you get a sweet not very often do you get a sweet how often do you even get ice cream not very often how often do you find soft serve that's good anywhere not very often so chocolate vanilla swirl it is in a waffle cone Might have been the best ice cream cone I think I've ever had. The cone itself, the waffle cone, so fresh to die for. Soft serve was on point. It was soft and it was serving up flavor. That's all it needs to do. Let that digest see a bit of the band realize I don't like this band mainly because they sound like everything I've heard growing up since the 90s on the rock station where I live and it's nothing novel it's nothing new it's just really outdated sounding rock which I don't mess with so, best for last and the quintessential what I really even went for, elephant here. Gotta go get an elephant here. Fried piece of dough. Like big. 12 inches in 
in size. Crinkly, wrinkly fried dough. Icing sugar, cinnamon sugar. Tear it apart. It's light, fluffy, crispy, and delicious. However, mine was lacking the crispy. They undercooked it. Way undercooked it. Too flippy, too floppy, kind of soggy. $11 piece of dough with some sugar and some sugar on it. And that's what blew my mind. The cheapest thing there to make a piece of fried dough, most expensive. The corn dog, five bucks. Thought for sure it would be closer to 10. Wasn't. The Pizza Hut. You'd think Pizza Hut at the fair would be at least $14 for a small. It was seven. Reasonable. Very reasonable. Even the ice cream cone. Big mammer jammer. Five bucks. Fried piece of dough undercooked. Two times and a buck on top. Eleven. Don't like it. After that, hit the gambling table real quick, lost a bit of cash, and then I proceeded to leave because I couldn't deal with playing chicken and frogger with strollers anymore, okay? So it was time to go. I jet, and then I slept like an MF and baby for like 11 hours last night because <laughs> I've been insomnia for four or five days prior to this and when I say insomnia I just mean like day like four four or five days of four to five hour sleeps like shitty broken four hour sleeps five days in a row so I was exhausted so I crashed like 11 hours of sleep and then today did some shit eating Saturday my cousin's 30th birthday tonight so that's an update that's life two whoppers deep they were really absolutely perfect honestly I haven't had ones that good in a long time um but yeah that's my that's my my fair affairs where I went to the fair and all I ate was the fair right that they were selling uh, no rides. So, <sighs> I'm sure this one was fairly fair. I'm sure this one was fairly enjoyable. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs>